If you go to make.com, there are 27 ChatGPT workflows to automate your work. I'm going to go through every single one of them and explain how you can use them. So when we're going through this video, if you find a good idea, write it down. There's nothing better than getting something automated in your business to save you hours per week. And at the end of the video, I'm going to compile them all and give them all to you in a list where you can one click copy it to your make.com account. So let's get started with automation. Number one, create new completions with OpenAI ChatGPT from new rows in Google Sheets. So you can see here that it gets an input, which is watch new roles. It generates a completion using ChatGPT and then it pastes that completion to update a row. This can save you time by automatically generating completions to any topic. For example, SEO keywords from your content topics. I can see this being used by everyone because you can basically just have one prompt in the beginning and then you can split it up to a bunch of different prompts, put them next to each other in a spreadsheet. For me, I could just write down one title and it could give me three more title ideas, the description of the YouTube video and and even tags that I could use in the video as well. Automation number two, automate responses to business emails with ChatGPT and Google Sheets. So here you can see that when you get a new email, you pull that into OpenAI's ChatGPT. It then goes into Google Sheet and finds data in a row back to OpenAI again and then sends an email or actually creates a draft. An example I can see is if the email contains maybe sponsor or partnership or collaboration in the email, ChatGPT takes that and provides a specialized prompt that I gave to it that we pretty much sent to anybody that wants to be sponsors, even personalize their name and make it unique and specific with ChatGPT. I know many people spend hours a week on email, so this can help you out. Automation number three is analyze sentiment in customer feedback on Google Sheets using ChatGPT. So what it does here is it watches for a new row. This could be, for example, if you have a Google survey document that feeds everything into a Google Sheet. So this one starts by getting feedback on a new row in Google Sheets so that we can go to the next step to classify the sentiment, for example, is this keyword present, etc., and then put that directly into the Google Sheet. So this one is perfect for recruiters, surveyors, data analysis. I can see myself using it personally where I go, they're beginner at AI, intermediate at AI, or expert at AI. Automation number four is create new completions with OpenAI ChatGPT from new rows in Airtable. This is exactly the same as in the Google Sheets. Data goes in the first row, then everything else gets filled out. Automation number five, create a sales analysis for lawyers receipts with OpenAI. So, Loyverse is some sort of daily sales platform. I think you could connect it to WooCommerce or Shopify. And then they have this really long flow that includes all these different elements. If you're a complete beginner in automations, the best thing to do is to look at what, what others are doing and think about how could you save time with this. So this template exports daily sales from Loyverse and saves them into a Google Sheets spreadsheet at the end of every month ChatGPT will read the accumulated data from the spreadsheet and give you a suggestions to improve your business performance. It can probably tell you which item made you the most money, things to double down on, almost like an operations assistant. Automation number six, we have analyzed sentiment in customer feedback on Airtable using ChatGPT. We already went through this on Google Sheets. Automation number seven, create new Slack status from given topics using OpenAI. So it uses ChatGPT to generate a status then it updates your status in Slack, save the status. It's a fun and easy way to keep everyone connected and engaged, especially in remote or hybrid work setups, and to spark interesting conversations among team members. With past statuses saved, it's easy to keep track of your favorite ones. So this is a perfect situation for you if you have a team. For me, the way I use recurring ChatGPT inside of Slack is every single Monday, I tell everybody in my team their to-dos and what is the goal for the week, instead of me manually having to do it every Monday. 
automation number eight, translate Telegram bot messages to any language with ChatGPT. So here it uses a Telegram bot, which is very convenient. It passes it to OpenAI that will translate it into a different language and the bot will send the translated text over. Sounds like a great way to learn a language, but also if you're out and about in a pinch in a city where you don't know the language, it says easily translate Telegram bot messages in real time to any language with our friend, user-friendly, accurate, and high-speed multilingual translation service for improved communication. Automation number nine, generate Telegram bot responses with ChatGPT. So much like the previous one, this will actually have the Telegram bot and then you can ask it just like it was ChatGPT. So instead of going to the app or going on your computer to ask ChatGPT, you could just ask it right there. Create intelligent Telegram bot responses to specific topics using AI power automation, enhance user experience, boost engagement, and improve customer satisfaction with intelligent conversational agents. Automation number 10, create social media posts from a published article using ChatGPT quick version. So here, I'm gonna show you another one later that is a little bit more complicated, but here they have a WordPress post. So you post that entire text, then OpenAI transforms it, creates a record on Airtable. And if people don't know what Airtable it is, it's basically a Google Sheet. So you can effortlessly transform a published article into an engaging social media post with ChatGPT, boosting online presence and driving organic traffic. I actually do one very similar, but instead of a WordPress blog post, I do YouTube videos or TikToks. Automation number 11, automate responses with business emails with ChatGPT and Airtable. If you remember, one of the ones that we did earlier was email comes in, ChatGPT, writes a response and then creates a draft email. This one is a very similar automation 12. Transcribe audio files from Google Drive using OpenAI Whisper and send an email. Ooh, this one is nice. So essentially it uses Google Drive to say, hey, there's a new file. Let me actually go inside of it, the template. Here you can see that it watches a file in a folder and then when it updates, it gets a downloadable file that it sends straight over to OpenAI, create a transcription. So this is Whisper that only works with MP3 files or audio files. You can't do this with video files. It then creates a Google document, downloads that Google document and sends an email. I believe this would be to yourself, I guess. So you can automate transcription and store on Google Doc and instantly email these docs for ease of communication. This is for you if you like voice communication to yourself, like notes, or if you wanna send something to your team that you just don't wanna send in an audio file that gets transcribed right away. Many use cases on this one. Automation 14, generate LinkedIn draft posts from TikTok videos with ChatGPT. So this one uses Gmail, OpenAI, JSON, and HTTP. You can transform an engaging TikTok video into a professional LinkedIn draft post with that GPT, where you can review the content before you post. Simply email the video link and receive the content in your inbox. Significantly reduce the time from inspiring video you find to LinkedIn post content. Damn, okay, let's check it out. I'm gonna click on this, get this template. So this could be find an inspiration video, send a link to this automation. You can see the automation is pretty long, but it's pretty basic all at once. Essentially the email extracts an URL. And once we have that exact URL, we go to this rapid API get MP3 that makes an MP3 out of the video. We feed that MP3 into this transcript, the whisper again, and then we create a LinkedIn post out of it that then sends it back to the email again. Such a fast way of creating content or repurposing the content you already have. I might actually start using this, but I would make it trigger on when I upload a new TikTok video instead of sending it an email. Automation 15, transcribe Zoom recordings with OpenAI's Whisper, summarize, create audio files with 11 labs and send via Slack. Wow, this one is cool. We're gonna use 11 labs, which is my favorite AI voiceover tool like robot voice is very realistic. So it takes this Zoom meeting, puts it into OpenAI transcription, then text generation, then into the 11 labs speech synthesis and it uploads that to Slack. So I believe it will take a summary of the entire meeting or it will create action point bullet points that then just get spoken into Slack, which is really beautiful. Communicating with AI through voice 
I just like it a lot better. Automation 16, create social media posts from blog using ChatGPT, and this has two steps to it. It's a little bit more advanced, but that usually means it creates a better output. You can see the WordPress goes to ChatGPT, that goes to a text parser, and if you don't know what that is, it kind of matches a pattern that you set for it, then it routes it to three different Airtable rows. And that's where we go to the automation 17. Part number two looks like this. So it uses this custom web hook that routes it again to Twitter. You get an HTTP and then it goes to LinkedIn and a Facebook page. Then all the Airtables get updated probably it's published. So you can see now how we turned a blog post into three different social media posts. I don't use this automation because I don't write blog posts, but what I do do is all my TikToks gets repurposed on every other platform. And it's such a massive time saver that you couldn't do without automation. Automation 18. Send audio files generated by Eden AI from generated text by ChatGPT in Telegram. Seems like a lot of people are using this one. So they use a basic trigger. Now this could be any trigger, could even just be sending a message to the Telegram bot. It then uses OpenAI, converts that text into speech with Eden, and sends an audio file back. So that should make it possible to send an audio message and it didn't actually speak back to you. Or it can trigger on an email that says you have a sale. You get a Telegram notification on your phone and it says, you have made a sale of 1000 $256. Automation 19. Conduct competitor analysis from gong calls and store the data on Airtable. So this one uses a bunch of tools. It says get competitor mentions from a call and their associated products and services, strength, weaknesses, using AI to enable sales teams to build more effective strategies. This is the best way to explain Gong. It captures all your interactions. It understands with AI, which is basically Gong and it delivers you insights easily. Essentially, it's watching for a new call. It goes through this entire process, ends up at ChatGPT, that then creates a record on Airtable. Automation 20, generate high converting descriptions for WooCommerce products using OpenAI. This one is such a time saver. So essentially it starts off in WooCommerce. So you just write a title of a product, then OpenAI will take that product, mark it down and upload a description directly to WooCommerce for you. So it shows you how to increase your WooCommerce sales with AI generating high converting product descriptions, enhance SEO ranking, drive organic traffic and boost revenue effortlessly. Automation 21, generate high converting descriptions for Shopify products using OpenAI. Write a title of a Shopify product, Boom, you got the description right away. Super big time saver. Automation 22. Categorize support tickets with ChatGPT and allocate based on agent expertise. This one is using Sendesk and I know a lot of people are using that. So as you can see, this one basically categorizes the support tickets. So you can see the trigger is when a new ticket comes in and what comes out is an updated ticket, but there could be done so much more here, like, like writing the email or figuring out what's the actual problem that the customer is asking for support and automatically update the database of an issue log. Automated customer service is gonna be the norm in the next few years. Automation 23, OpenAI GPT-3 answer following question. Apparently a bunch of people are using this one. There's even a four minute tutorial going through it. This automation was a lot cooler than I thought. Essentially, all he needs to do is to do control C on any message. Like for example, this message here in Slack and what he gets out is an actual answer to that question. So this can save you hours of time if you do a lot of communication. He also shows how to make it just pop up straight in Mac, writing a job description. Automation 24. Open AI write me based on my prompt. So this one takes your messaging automation to the next level with ChatGPT and Make. Our custom written templates are designed to help you fully customize and optimize your messaging workflows. Again, you can use one of these web hooks, for example, in the shortcuts app on the Mac that triggers this to open as a normal ChatGPT right on your computer, which saves you a bunch of time instead of going back and forth to ChatGPT all the time. You can just write it right there in the software you choose. Automation 
25 post directly on social media from a blog post using ChatGPT. So we've seen three different versions now. We see one that was very advanced with a bunch of Airtable stuff. We saw one that was very easy. Now this one seems to be the most powerful or like a deal, most bang for your buck. You can see just WordPress, OpenAI, Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. Automation 26. Get all your gong calls summarized with OpenAI and notify sales. Essentially, it can summarize all of yesterday's calls into one summarized text for you to read that goes directly into Slack. I bet you could do this with Zoom as well. So this one you can use to boost your customer's sales insights and intelligence. Automation 27. Generate sentiment analysis from product satisfaction surveys using ChatGPT. Typeform is like a survey website and here the entire workflow will generate sentiment analysis for product satisfaction. So it creates a record in Airtable and creates a Slack message. This could be as easy as interested, not so interested, or segment them into different categories. Survey and automations just goes hand in hand. So now what's left is which one are you going to start using? I'll leave a link in the description for all of them and you can simply just click on it start with the template completely for free so you can automate your work save some time if you're wondering can make automate this write it in the comments down below if you want to go deeper into make.com automations i uh, have this video here so check out make.com in the description or check out this video here all right peace